Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Hellfire Creative Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about... Movie cliches. Ooh. I wonder what they could be. I wonder what they could be. I've, I've not had this conversation before, so it'd be really <laughs> interesting to see what we come up with. Um, did you... So they're randomly generated. Are they still the same randomly generated ones from when we randomly maybe, generated? Maybe, maybe some of them. Oh, okay, maybe some good. of them have changed. That's good. So that's good. Yeah. You know, not um, that we've ever had this conversation yeah, before. I mean, this is all new to us. We've, it's we've all never, new to us. We've never spoke about any of this before, so it should be an interesting conversation. <laughs> this should be a great conversation yeah. that's never been spoken about before. No. Well, yes, I think so. I mean, we, you know, obviously we've had these conversations in and around the office. Maybe sitting in these exact seats. Yeah, but perhaps. Never been recorded. So. Never, ever, and ever. Before we go on. Ben, you've just got back from holiday. Oh, I have just got back from snowboarding. <laughs> and, and, wow. And what? we've not spoken. Yeah, you are joking. We've not spoken, we're not, we're not for spoken a week. about this snowboarding. I was just wondering how it went. It's crazy. Yeah, I've just got back from snowboarding. Um, well, uh, it was really fun. Uh, didn't break any bones. Um, stopped doing the creative challenge because I was enjoying myself too much. But I did find time to do some work that needed to be done while I was there. So, you know, it wasn't all fun and games, but a lot of fun and games was had. Gee, also, it's really hard to be vegan in France. <laughs> is it? Yes, because everything is cheese. <laughs> cheese and cheese and animal. So it's quite yes. hard. Lots lot of, of animal, animals. lots of cheese. So, uh, Yeah, I don't think I'd cope. There's a really nice rest, restaurant that we went to on the first night that took the cheese off our vegetarian pizza and it was absolutely amazing. Oh, that's good. Banging. And then we found a bar called Loop Bar that did an amazing sort of falafel patty um, vegan burger, which was nice. delicious. With Which was, they did green pea guacamole. Okay. So I only assume that's like mushy peas and avocado. Basically mushy peas. It was mushy peas, but it was very nice. So <laughs> yes, um, it was a great success. I would go back to teens uh, if anyone's interested in filming anything snowboarding based. We can facilitate that. We now know our way ab about. We know our way about teens in France, but we also know about Val and a few other places. So if you're interested in doing uh, any snowboarding or ski based content, let us know. We can do it for you. Excellent. Right. Let's crack on with the uh, cliches then. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go for five randomly picked ones. Where do you think we're going first, Harrison? Well, you Boom! <laughs> Knowing, um, yeah, knowing it would probably be like saying that like jump scares. <laughs> That's just how I, I think how did an that AI would about? randomly generate How did that come about? I mean, I was going to change it up, but yeah, uh, we're going there. So, jump scare. What do you reckon? I love a jump scare. I love uh, a jump scare. I think... You actually scared me then. Did I? Heart's racing a bit, yeah. You didn't scare me. Uh, but Can I feel I? good about it. It's good, see? I was jump scaring everyone. <laughs> um, the... I... So a jump scare is really good unless it's obvious it's going to happen. Then it obviously becomes not a jump scare. Um, I think Drag Me to Hell. I think we mentioned this before. Drag Me to Hell is some of the best jump scares. Yeah, man. In the business, um, there. The, I remember the nervous laughter that was sort of going around the cinema when we watched it. It was like people like going, "Oh, that was funny. Oh, it's funny, isn't it?" Oh, don't be the, the old lady. No demonic old lady jumps out on me again. Oh, <laughs> like it was. It was they, like people were vis visibly like shaken by some of those jump scares because they did come out of nowhere. Like whereas then there's films like Scream that have jump scares that you kind of are expecting. I mean, the first one you don't expect them because it's kind of like it was the first like slasher movie of my generation that was like yeah. came out in my generation. So but then as it was, Wes Craven as was Wes Craven, yeah. master. Um, I think that's a very interesting take that I didn't know you had. So uh, you didn't know about that take. <laughs> yeah, we I? can we can stop with the with the silliness now. If people have guessed that we've re-recorded this episode, <laughs> nah. Um, yeah, uh, I think that. But then obviously now people are so often reg like they're expecting jump scares in certain scenes that you if there's space you know there's often there's space left in the shot for, for when when a cupboard's opened and then yeah. it's closed again there's, there'll be a jump scare and now i think people are so ready for them when they're not there they're almost like oh it wasn't there so yeah I, I love a jump scare yeah i do uh i think scream again yeah for me that was that it it was kind of the rebirth for the the scary movie, I guess. Um, 
I think it's kind of died down now. I don't think I've watched a good horror uh, for a long, long time now. Because there aren't any that exist. There aren't any. What, in, in... Ever. Ever. You don't like any scary movies? Really? I think there's been... Like, like Drag Me to Hell, that must have been like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Now, right? Barbarian. Um, I watched that a couple of weeks ago. That's got a few jump scares in it. Okay. Um, but that's a good horror. Um... I've, Mandy's good, but it's a bit camp. It's not a great. It's not really a horror, is it? Um, I've seen a few good ones actually. I can't remember what they're called though, so that's really useless. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the horror genre is it's a tough one. Like Midsummer's good, but I think the more psychological kind of culty oh, I've ones. I've seen Midsummer. Have the you? Swedish thing, isn't it? Yep, you yeah. got it right. That is weird. It's so odd. It is. Just it's odd, odd isn't it? Mm. It's, a, it's a great film. I think. Uh, can't remember. It, uh, I was. He's done, or they have done something else recently that was really good. I'm not sure if it was Barbarian, but they've got, or they've got a new film coming out soon. But that's on A24, which are a great production company or studio. Yeah, yeah. Honorable mentions, Grudge. I, I watched the new Nightmare on Elm Street with our friend Matt Marlowe. Yeah, and he was jumping and really. Yeah, all over the place. How? I don't know. But it's, it was hilarious to watch. And that There's was with... Um, Moen Elm Street. Is that the guy no, who played Rorschach yes. in yeah, Watchmen yeah. and also yes. played the, the baddie guy in um, Robocop? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's good. Uh, but Robert Englund was a bit f***ed off that he didn't get that call up to be Freddy again. <sighs> I mean, he played him so many times. He's played him, I reckon he's played him like 15 times. I think like, he looks like him now. Like, yeah, he's just him. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought that you know they could have probably brought Robert Englund. In. I think what he was in, he was in, um, was he in Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. He was great yeah. in Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. He had the guy's eyes got cut out, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Dark, dark. Yeah, he's great, Robert Englund. He anytime he crops up now in a in a horror film, you know he's gonna he's gonna nail that role. But yeah, he's Freddy, isn't he? So. Toad's Fred. Also, how I've seen that film and it is not jump scares. He was petrified, and there were lots of, there were quite a few of us in the room. Yeah, so it wasn't even like you know lights are down, atmospheric. <gasps> it was just like in the middle of a conversation. Marlo, was just, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> and you can imagine it, <laughs> and like the lamest things. Yeah, uh, yeah, good times. But yeah, so you don't like horrors. No. Nah. This is when he comes out and says, I like loads of horrors actually. <laughs> waste of time. Waste you like zombie space. films, don't you? Yeah, they're not horrors. They're not scary. They're thrillers. They are uh, horrors. Zombies yeah, they fall under that genre. Definitely. I think yeah, so. I, like I think. Scary zombie films. <laughs> there's some, there's some jump scares in the I often get scared by films that aren't horror films. The only <laughs> film that I hate because of how terrifying it is is Coraline. You seen Coraline? Yeah, but I don't know if it's scary. Yeah, mate. The mum's got button eyes and she's all creepy and it just The mum is me quite out. creepy in that, it just, yeah. It has is. since I was a kid. It just, it's creepy. Don't like it. Can't watch it. The cat's creepy. The, the character's movements are creepy. It's just a creepy show. Creepy film. <laughs> and it's not supposed to be, but it, but it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Coraline is the scariest film ever made. Moving on. Moving on. What's Let's the next go one? To number two. I'm going to mix it up now. The Infinity Gun. Oh, the gun doesn't stop firing. So I had, all the bullets, all the bullets. So Robocop one, definitely <laughs> that guy is, he never reloads. Um, and then they are they when did the last action hero is when they they call it out. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. call it out that the gun the guns I, never stop firing. I love that film. Such a good it, film. It's just fun. Great bad guys. So great story. Stupid. It's just yeah, like isn't it? I don't know. I don't want, to, don't want to speak out of turn now, but Last Action Hero isn't that also the plot of the "I Am the One Only" video for Disney Hawk? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the same plot. Like his ticket comes to life and he can walk into the film. Exactly. Brilliant. It's such a good film. It's funny. But that is the that was the first. Yeah. So that was probably one of the first times I ever noticed that, and I must have been about ten. Was the fact that yeah, in films they never run out of bullets. Mm. And then in Last, Last Action Hero, they called it out and he, he keeps trying yeah. to keep firing it when he comes into the real world. Spoiler alert. I'm going to have to watch that film again because it is <laughs> so good. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, the Infinity Gun. But do you think that on the opposite 
end of the spectrum of that is that the, when they start counting bullets as well, they go, I think he's got three left. Like in Batman, when he goes, he's got, he's, yeah, he's yeah, out, yeah, right? Yeah, and he goes, yeah, yeah. bang, and he shoots him. That's a great th thing. Yeah, mm. I think, um, yeah, the infinity gun is, I mean, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. I think since yeah. Last Action Hero, they've <laughs> they're, 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 they're called out. What the hell? Well, have you ever have you ever seen a single like stormtrooper reload in Star Wars? Yeah, but they're laser pistols. They're lasers. Man. They're lasers. Yeah, they don't load lasers. I feel like they'd have a charger though. Like, they would have to have some kind of charging mechanism. Yeah, yeah. They'd overheat. but they do. If you play a game, it'll normally have yeah, overheat. overheat. Mm. Um, what, like <laughs> even any Steven Seagal film, the gun never gets reloaded. <laughs> never. Never. Um, who is? Simon was saying that Under Siege is one of his favourite films. He did, didn't he? That yeah. really surprised me. He said it's a guilty pleasure. I, I'm going to go out there and say that I don't like any, any Steven Seagal films. I think the man is a criminal. Um, <laughs> I've heard stories along in, on the grapevine of like him being a bit forceful. Um, but yeah, and his films are all rubbish. I there's a really the good, yeah, good, good. There's a there's a brilliant podcast episode actually, and not ours, uh, which is surprising. Um, but where they actually go through and they they proper go through one of the films that he's just made recently. Not well, it's probably about ten years ago now. And it, this like he goes, it doesn't stand up through the whole film, and he's meant to be like a, a, a U.S. Marine corporal or something. He uh, just sits down through the whole film. I mean, he kind of just baffles me anyway. Steven Seagal, he's you know, insane. He's He's not good looking. He's, I mean, he's he never got that was. Polished that boot polished kind of yeah. thing on his hair. He's also um, does that fake kung fu. Stuff. Yeah. Also, I once interviewed him. Oh, really? did you? I once interviewed him. Oh, there we go. Like. You can Google Steven Seagal. Right. I'll know. tell the story of when I interviewed him. Yeah. Quickly. So when uh, back in a previous life, uh, I was playing a gig in Liverpool the same night as Steven Seagal's blues band were playing in Liverpool and both we had the same press agent and they thought it would be a good idea for me to interview Steven and him to interview me about our gigs uh, and we did that and he called me Dan so called you what? Dan <sighs> so he got me the name wrong I have no idea who he is you no idea. You didn't even see a picture of him. You didn't know who he is. He's you idea. are seventeen, so you like no. his career ended before, way before you were born. Like, yeah, go, though. his career ended before, I, like when I was about ten. So you know Arnie Schwarzenegger, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, so he's like a B Tech. You'd call him like a B Tech Arnie, basically. He's like lower down the league. Yeah, I'd he say he's a B Tech. He he's a B Tech Mel fit, Gibson. I'd say. I'd say more of a Mel Gibson uh, type. I bet yeah. you don't know who Mel Gibson is, do you? I know the name. You know, you, uh, there's no picture to the, to the face. Though. Lethal Weapon. Braveheart. No. Daddy's Home 2. Yeah. He's in, he's in Daddy's Home 2. Which, which one is it? He I'm plays, like, um, uh, what's his name's dad? The guy. Marky the, Mark. Marky Mark's dad. Who's Marky Mark? Mark Wahlberg. I know him. He's oh, plays, him. Yeah, yeah like, that's Mel Gibson. What, what about him? I like yeah, that's, him. That's what Steven Seagal cool. is basically, a B-Tech, yeah. Mel Gibson. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. flop. Yeah. Thanks flop artist. That, 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 flop. That, that, word, that actor association game we just played there to get to <laughs> Mel Gibson. Uh, yeah, uh, Infinity Gun is fun. I think it's, I think it's, you know, it was of a time. It was very 80s, the Infinity Gun. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Right, moving on. We're going to go Mad Scientist. Oh yeah. Can you name a mad scientist? Rick Sanchez. Yeah. Rick, Sa Rick Sanchez, ba who, who's it. now been cancelled in real life. Um, oh, was it his voice actor? I thought it was one of the other voices. No, he does pretty much all of them, I think. Uh, Rick Sanchez is being recast by, and by the, well, they want him to be recast by the original I say Rick they just Sanchez, the show. Christopher Lloyd. Oh, so it's a different one from the original? No, the, as in <laughs> what he's based on. Rick Sanchez is based on Doc is Brown from... Back to, back to the future. Is he? 100% based. He looked exactly like him. I n I've seen that show about 20 times. I never yeah. knew he was based. Yeah. Well, it's obvious that he's based. The character, on. you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like the show. No, oh, just the character. Just the character, yeah. The ultimate mad scientist. So they want the old man know. from Back to the Future. Well, no, that's what people think. There would be a great Is he replacement. Alive still? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get on him. Uh, yeah. It's my only doc. Is he? My only mad scientist. Yeah. I think, I I, like, like I've never Brown. said before, I think characters like Willy Wonka are a mad yeah. scientist. What's type. the man's name in Phineas and Ferb? In what? Fini you don't know Phineas and Ferb? 
Right. Oh yeah, no, you won't have known. It's a kids program, but it's like your kids you won't go. watch it anymore because it stopped their own bits. What I would have watched. But here's some further. It's like, there's a hunt. I'm not going to sing this song. You don't know it. Perry the platypus. No. Oh, come I have on. no idea what you're talking about. No. You're just saying Phineas and Ferb. It's a show. Um, a Pinky in the Brain. Um, I think. Yeah. Right, brain was a bit of a mad scientist. There's also some other. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. There's yep. a mad scientist kind of like Doctor Frankenstein character type character. I think yeah. I think it's a it's a great um, way to base a story mm, around something like that. Um, is it? It's you know. Jekyll it gives, and Hyde. Yeah. It gives someone it, you know it gives someone a lot of range to deal with that mad scientist kind of character. But yeah. It's a good one. It's I think it depends one. whether going mad as well. Well, no, they're normally just a mad scientist. They're just like crush crazy. I think would probably yeah. be a, like, yeah. a little yeah. wacky. Yeah. yeah, but I do. I love a backstory. So if there's what really would you no give backstory. me a backstory that you love? Oh, mate, I don't know. I don't have specifics, but I mean, he loves a backstory. For, 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 for <laughs> I a like show. character development as well, Harrison. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but what I mean is, if the film starts and it just shows some man who's crazy, oh, you want to know why he's crazy? crazy. Then I don't oh, you care. You want to be spoon fed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to go. You want to know. You want to know why that guy's gone crazy. Of course, you know, what yeah, happened? Like, what, why, what otherwise, why am I just going to watch it? Why are you doing this? It's like me murdering someone and the police not asking me why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that you want motive? No, it's not because someone going mad and becoming a scientist is different from you going out and killing someone for a specific reason. I think. Yeah, I think so too. That wasn't a great analogy. It wasn't. Move on. It's fine. Right, let's move on. So, mad scientist, great cliche. I like it. Yeah, we're happy. Yeah, agree. Thumbs happy up. That one. Hellfire, thumbs up. One last case. It's my last case. Or coming back yeah, for the I'm one last one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. I think, yeah, maybe Lethal Weapon Two. Is that the one that he comes back, or is it three that he retires? Yeah. So, Lethal Weapon Two. He retires. Going to retire. And then three. He's a day from retirement day and from it retirement. all goes mad with the, yeah. the well, South I think Africans. There's a big difference They've got diplomatic immunity though, right? So they can. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do it. Haven't heard of any of these films. <laughs> You've never heard of Lethal Weapon? No. It's up to the box. Lethal Weapon upstairs. is so good. I haven't filmed for you. Uh, no. Batman, um, Dark Knight Rises is kind of that, isn't it? Uh, no, Dark Knight, sorry. Dark Knight is that one last thing. He thinks that he can hand over the mantle to yep. Harvey Dent and that's it. He's he's doing that. This is his. He, it's, he's, at, he's getting out. Um, and there's loads where they come back, isn't there? And they go, I'll just come back to do one more case of retirement. Um, yeah, I mean, again, it's a proper cliche, and it just sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I would, I'd like to think there's something in like Last Action Hero about it, but there's not. I'm trying to make it all about Last Action Hero, but I, lo I love, I love, I'm going off. On it. Last Action Hero with the boss shouting his head off for yeah. Arnie, and the windows explode, and yeah. it's so good, so good, Never heard so of it. silly. I'm gonna watch it. Thing. You should, yeah, you should watch it. It's very silly. Very, it's very fun. silly. It's something um, on Paramount. Okay. Okay, so we're a bit like that. Yeah. yeah. One last I can't think of a good one. example of it. Okay. Neither. All right, last cliche, because we're going to wrap this up. It's been fun. Car chase. Oh, I love a the car chase. The car chase. So I've, if you've watched um, White Noise on Netflix, um, one of the characters is kind of goes on it does a really big monologue about car chases and how important they are to American cinema and how before American cinema the car chase was never a thing and how they just get bigger and better and um, yeah it's really good uh, the one of my favourite car chases of all time from one of my favourite films of all time is uh, The Blues Brothers oh yeah the, yeah that yeah, car yeah, chase yeah. is absolutely ridiculous like it's it, obviously it's purposely ridiculous ridiculous um, I love it I think a car chase in a film, fantastic. Like Mad Max Fury Road is one big car it's chase. One, yeah. Mm. It's definitely one of the best cliches for sure. Fire Festival car chase. Yeah. Car chase. I'll have to say I like it as well because I love Baby Driver. You Very good. Brilliant film. It's that's great, basically a, a lot of that's car good. chasing. Driver. Driver, great film. That's great car chases. Sick. Um, my favorite car chase yeah. is Born Supremacy. It's I've the one in it. New York. Never seen it. It's insane. I think, do you know, huge, brilliant car chases. Mission Impossible. Never seen it. <sighs> I've not watched. I've seen Fallout, the first one. There's a really good one in Fallout. I think there's a really good one in uh, Rogue Nation. Um, they're always brilliant. Yeah. It, I've, car chases are yeah, they're brilliant. If you, uh, it's probably one of the cliches I think you've got to keep. Because hmm. no, I uh, no action film 
is done without a car chase. Um, Six Underground, have you seen that? With uh, Ryan yeah, Reynolds? I've seen that. Great car chase. Actually, they cut it out now, but um, when they released the film, you can actually see Ryan Reynolds giving an interview in the background while he's meant to be racing a car. Oh, really? It's a really small shot of him. Where, like, there's a, an advert for Six Underground where a car explodes behind him while he's talking about the film. And you see that explosion within the film. You can actually make out Ryan Reynolds giving that piece to camera. That is insane. Yeah. But yeah, so um, yeah, there's some really good car chases in that. Obviously, the worst example of this cliche is Fast and the Furious. <laughs> what a load of... Thank tops. you. Who, like, what? The first, I remember Terrible. the first one came out and I was like, I must have been about 13, I think, when the first one, maybe 14 when the first one came out. And I was like, oh, that was cool. Don't need to see another one. How many are there now? Like nine? D ten. Twenty? Five. Yeah, I think they just, just finished t ten. I mean, they filmed one down in South End Seafront, didn't they? Yeah. Some of it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. I remember when they were down there. Um, I Yeah, like Fast and Furious, worst films. Terrible. Terrible films. Terrible. Stop making them. They give mm. car chases a bad name. They're the... They're the the worst car chases, the worst car films, the worst films. They're just ridiculous. Yeah. That's still smoking. <laughs> yeah. If you notice how foggy it is in here, people, if you're watching, uh, we left the hazer on a bit too long yeah. uh, when we were filming something earlier. It's fine. It was for the that's, spooky uh, jump scare. That's the Atmos. Conversation. Always about that. Okay, so we're a fan. Fan. Fan, except for Fast and the Furious. Car chase is great. Harrison, you've been watching some movies recently, haven't you? I have. Um, Tell us all about them. Started watching movies again last week. Um, so originally was on Disney Plus, looking yeah. for the show that Andy recommended me about Wrexham. Shout out Wrexham. And, but you uh, couldn't find it, could you? Couldn't find it. Did you type in Wrexham? No, I didn't type it in. No, I was just. Ben, I, that's why I was. W R. I reckon I if you just typed in W, no. it would come up. No, no, one of the biggest things on Disney Plus. Yeah. I wasn't hell bent on finding it. I just went on Disney Plus because you mentioned it, and I was just looking at top picks to see oh, if it's there. I was thinking, oh my god, he actually listened to me for once, <laughs> and then he hasn't watched it. He took it. my advice, I will but you couldn't it. even be bothered to type I will in watch W R. It, but I haven't. Um, anyway, I was just saw loads of films I used to watch. So I rewatched Percy Jackson, which I remember watching when it first came out. The second one, of course. Nope. I used to really like Never it. Never seen it. Never no. seen it. It's no. good. Um, Is yeah. that the one that's about um, Greek mythology? What do you know? It is. The, uh, actually, they're, they're, so they're doing a new new one, aren't they? A new se series or something. New series sort of Percy Jackson. That's all I know. The other day, all, I know. all at four, so yeah. who cares about that? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, Percy Jackson's good. Rewatched the second one, then watched the first for the first time. So you watched yeah. the second, rewatched the second yeah. one, then watched the watch first the one for one. the first time. <laughs> yeah. Because when, so it, when the, the second, second one, one came out, my dad wanted to go with me, and he was like, "Mate, it's an action movie. You're like 12. I don't think you're gonna care." I went, and I liked it. It was sick. Okay. And I watched but the you first never one. watched the first one after I, that. I didn't. didn't but have then the time. You, when you when you went back to watch it again, you watched the second one first. Yeah. <laughs> and then watched the first one. Because you don't really need to. If you've only ever watched the second one, it all makes sense. Oh, okay. So I watched the first, and it made a lot more sense. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> <laughs> that chronological <laughs> order thing really. <laughs> really helps this film's it? rubbish it doesn't make the any sense the first was just as good oh no it makes perfect sense <laughs> it's really good you should go back and watch the second one now <laughs> yeah and then you know I watched Harry Potter I watched like the fifth and the fourth and then the oh, I yeah, don't, actually, I just, I don't, yeah, I don't think that really is uh, the right way to watch those films anyway I enjoyed a um, couple things that changed since I've grown up but yeah and then I also rewatched Narnia incredible film The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe that's, that one's good I like the first one brilliant and then I tried to watch the second one, which I never watched. Uh, I got halfway through it and I was like, this is like terrible. They're and a bit rubbish in there after that. Yeah, the first one's really good. Um, yeah. I think they just kind of like picked the wrong actors. They Agreed. all grew up too quickly as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, it's a bit of a tough one. I think with Harry Potter, luckily they were meant to grow up with every year. Mm. Those ones, they kind of took so long to film them that by the time they started filming like the second one, they were like 10 years older than they were when they started filming. And it's all meant to happen within like a, like a month in it or something. I don't know. I don't need, but I just don't. I'd like someone to give it, up. give that another bash. Actually, Narnia. Mm. And do a decent good yeah, job of it. Do Jeez. like a more like you know, give them the the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Not new Christopher to... Nolan film. He's got a new film coming out, isn't he? Christopher Oppenheimer. Nolan. Yeah. Yeah, that looks interesting. Yeah. I don't get why films like 
get the red flag and then they stop filming them. It really winds what me up. What do you mean? Like, you said you've seen the end of the um, effing world, when I swear. Yeah. You said you've seen that. See, there, there was supposed to be a third season, but they just yeah. cancelled the show. It was just so good. And that's like my favourite, one of my favourite shows. And But it doesn't really end. I feel like it doesn't end. Like they need a season three, but I feel some shows just get cancelled, just like yeah, Percy Jackson. <laughs> There's only two Flop. Percy Jacksons. There's like six books. Mm. But, they but they're doing the series them. now, aren't they? So yeah. But I'm annoyed that people's the people, other people on this earth might be blaming you or might not. Your taste <laughs> isn't good enough because you didn't watch the film. They didn't get enough money to make new ones, and now okay. I miss out on it. Okay. Okay. Fuming about. Yeah. Fuming. 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 You can see. Okay. Um. I, I watched Happy Valley, two and a half seasons. Ooh, I've it's, heard of that. It's pretty grim. It's good. It's very grim, very grim, dark, but very good. Um, I'm annoyed that I've got one more episode to watch that, you know, I caught up before it finished season three. Mm. Like, and that's the, the, the last episode um, on Sunday. So, um, And then I haven't really watched any films. I tried to watch Dune on the plane, but um, I didn't finish it because it's so long. It is a lot. It's very long. Um, okay, cool. We're going to wrap this up. Is that everything? So, yeah, we've done this. As usual, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Hellfire podcast. Um, and listening. And listening. Oh, thanks for listening, watching, whatever platform you're on. Be sure to listen next week. Be sure to go back and listen to previous weeks if you want to know what we And we've got loads of week. new content on our YouTube channel that you should check be it out. Liking, Lots sharing, more. subscribing, commenting. Speaking of liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, you while you're today. here, if you're on the YouTube channel, what's 30 seconds? Go down, like, more share, More than that, subscribe. quicker than that. Five <laughs> seconds. Five seconds. Your baby might be crying. Your baby is crying. This takes priority. Like, ignore the child. Share, subscribe, and then comment if you want. Do all of them. Hit that bell to be notified of new content. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. See you guys later.